Greetings, my dears, in love and light. Can I communicate with my dead pet? NHS Mental Health Services, how can I help uh, you? Hi. I think I might have a patient for you. question from a viewer asking if now that their pet has passed over to the other side can they communicate with them now just so you know and you probably already know that animals have souls too really because that's a mighty fine claim you got there i didn't even know they'd prove that humans had souls let alone other animals wowzers do you want to bring up some scientific papers to kind of support that hypothesis of yours or are you just going to assert it and move on? I'm guessing it's going to be the later. They reincarnate and reincarnate. Theirs is a second density existence. They haven't reached the level of consciousness of the, as the third density beings. Wait, what? We get denser as we get reincarnated? That explains human obesity. Wow, you nailed it, didn't you? Come on. Really, there is no evidence at all for reincarnation, for souls, and for talking to the dead. Don't just assert things. Give us your evidence. So they reincarnate and reincarnate themselves, and they're on their own paths of learning and experience. So they will go over to the other side and have their period of healing, and their incarnations are usually managed by other higher-up entities to help them choose learning paths that are good catalyst for their progression because they don't have the level of consciousness we do to be able to choose these things for beneficial outcomes and yet they do have a level of consciousness. Wait, what? You, you said they don't have a level of consciousness like we do, but they do have a level of consciousness. And obviously, heaven is this one big vet center where vets do little healing things to their dead little doggy souls, or catty souls, or hamster souls, whatever floats your fucking boat when you're filching. And they do all this lovely little treatment on these things, and then they decide, these heavenly vets, what these animals are going to go back as. You see a problem here? Do you? I mean, aside from the obvious that we've got absolutely no evidence for any of this, what the hell would heaven be a vet for? Come on. You gotta do healing in heaven. Oh, you gotta go and see them heavenly doctors. Surely. Any sort of afterlife, if there was a god, is going to be a paradise place where you don't need healing because you're all just fine. Or is your idea of an afterlife is basically the corner shops where there's a vet and a little deli? They can feel pain, they can feel love, they can take certain actions, they have a need for inclusion and safety. Yep, I could tell you that from 15 minutes with anyone's fucking pet. You're not enlightening anybody here, especially not the fucking pet. Come on, be honest. You don't really believe this bullshit, do you? And they are learning things like understanding that I am an individual and you are an individual and together we are we, I am I, you are you, things like that. They're learning self-awareness and self-consciousness. Okay. You do believe this crap. Look, I'm going to say to you what I say to all these wee people. Just go outside. Five minutes. Go outside. Go for a nice walk in the sun. Breathe in the air. Talk to some real people. Not the other woo-believing woo-tards that you spend most of your time with. And get a proper perspective on the universe. Okay? And maybe, just maybe, when you come back, you'll be a little less of a douche. Now, the thing is, if you were to see a medium and ask that spiritual medium to get in contact with your dead pet, 
then the medium would need to communicate with them, obviously not in any kind of language, because that entity is not at the level of consciousness where it would know language. Or, to be more accurate, the medium would just have to make everything up because they can't communicate with anything on the other side because it's not actually real because we have no evidence for any of this woo shit you're peddling. And it's all just about your little fifis for little fifi. So communication is done more in feeling and knowing. Yep, called it. Fifis. Now it's also difficult to communicate in, in certain ways with an animal mind to mind because the concepts are very simple. So the medium might pass on an expression of love and the animal entity might reflect back an expression of love. Look, just because somebody's pet is dead and they're upset about it doesn't mean that you fucking lot should be using that to pilfer money out of these people to tell them some bullshit about what you think their pet might be feeling. You know, convincing yourself personally of some of this shit, that's one thing. But trying to convince other people of it so you can take money off them for your little session of talking to little Fifi to get her Fifi's to help the Fifi's of the person with the monies is just fucked up and you should stop right now and get a real job. Or it might have a remembering of its owner and it might have a memory of a time so the medium could pick up on that memory and convey it to the owner. So the medium could convey love back and forth um, and pick up memories from the animal or perhaps desires of the animal. Like, like a desire not to be put in wet damp places that smell. Look, as I've already said, stop taking money from people by peddling your fucking woo. This is fucking abhorrent. It's bad enough when you do it about people in these people's lives. When you do it about pets and you're giving them even more hope for something about their lovely little pet in an afterlife or some bullshit, I, I think there's something decidedly worse about that. The fact that you would go to this sort of length just to extract money from the fucking gullible pisses me off no end. You people are sick. You need fucking help. Go and call a helpline fucking now. I desire to be with you again. But it wouldn't be complex information. It would be information of quite a simple nature. Yeah, I bet that helps. The simpler the nature, the simpler the answers, the more prone to misinterpretation for the owner, the more bullshit you can spew because you can say, I can't possibly give you anything specific because you can't get specifics from a fucking pet, you fucking assholes. No, you, you people are fucking sick. Sick, I tell you. Fuck off with this. Fuck back off to whatever hole you crawled out from underneath and leave these people alone. Now, there's something else about this. Obviously, there's a limit from what you can get from a dog personality or a cat personality in terms of communication. But one of these personalities is always part of a higher entity. So, in Seth Speaks, I believe it is, that's channeling that you can read up on and you can buy it yourself and read it if you want. Seth is discarnate and he's communicating through Jane Roberts. Now Seth imparts that he has a dog personality incarnate on Earth and the dog personality is a personality essence of his or part of his overall entity or higher self. Dog personality, higher self. Oh, he's got a dog self on the earth and he's a spirit from somewhere else. Oh, wow, he's a little fucking bitch. Look, I'm done. This is fucking ridiculous. You're encouraging these people to waste money doing something that's a waste of fucking time. It's a fucking con. You can just all fuck off. I'm done. Anyway, everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up 
And don't forget to subscribe and ring the little bell so you know when I get new content out. And please, everyone, please try not to choke on the selfie stick.